Hey, I'm Primitive Tim, and today we're going to learn how to thatch a frame using sable palm fronds. So these palm trees right back here, these are pretty much ideal palm trees. They're very robust and they're fairly short, so uh, palm fronds are easy to get to. And so the way I cut these is, I use a smaller knife rather than a machete, because uh, you can get in those small spaces a lot easier. And so I'll take a palm branch that I want, and I like to cut on each side. So I'll slice in diagonally on, on each side, like this, and then I'll do one, one pop right on the underside where I made those two cuts. And then you'll see it just went down a little bit. You just press down and it'll break off completely. And now I have my palm frond and I can uh, use this for thatching. Now I just have to gather about 500 more of those. All right, so now we're going to actually attach the frond to the frame. And the way this works is, right up here on the frond, we've got a few of these, uh, just these little parts sticking out. So I like to grab about three or four little sections here. So you see one, two, three. And so I'll grab these, bring them up over here. And with this, uh, with the branch of the frond, I want to make sure that that's under some tension. So I'm going to stick it up under there so that when I tie it, actually, to the right, yeah, right here. So that when I tie it, there's going to be some tension on there and uh, we're going to have things hold, held together. So I'm going to take these two pieces, flip them under this bar. And then once I flip them over, I'm going to bring them back under and then tie them together. And I just use it like a regular square knot for that. And so that'll hold real nice. And I'll just continue on along the row. Also, it's important that we start from the bottom and go up to the top. That way our fronds are kind of shingled on top of each other and so that one branch will shed water onto the next frond, onto the next frond, and all the way down to the ground rather than going through it and into our shelter. Now I'm getting really close to being done. However, I've got to get the top. Now the very top is well out of my reach. And so what I'm gonna to have to end up doing is weaving weaving the branch of the palm frond up into there and then go around, go on the inside and make sure everything is steady up at the very top. Now before I try wedging this into the into the structure, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sharpen this a little bit so that the it'll go into a nice small and tight space and uh, it'll be nice and tight. Now on these palm fronds, there's a lot of these fibers. So I like to go ahead and collect those and uh, these will make some pretty good cordage if I need to make some cordage later. All right, so it looks like it's pretty much done. There's a few small holes up in the top, which I'll probably go back and patch later. But um, I'm gonna have to go back later and kind of redo stuff because right now all the palm fronds are green. So once they dry out and they'll, they'll shrink, and so they're, that, that'll likely leave a few holes here and there. So I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and uh, put some more palm fronds on there. But um, it's not gonna be too difficult. And right now, I feel pretty comfortable sleeping in here. It's, uh, it's real nice. It seems pretty solid, the structure is real solid. And what's great about this type of thatching is you can apply it to pretty much anything, any type of frame. Like this is kind of a cone-shaped frame, sort of like a teepee. So now that I've got this structure built, I need to make a door. So I'm gonna basically make a thatched door so that it will kind of blend in with the rest of the structure. Now, I also want this hut to double as a smokehouse. So I'm gonna dig a little hole in the middle right here and I'm gonna let uh, some coals smolder in there and just kinda fill this thing with smoke. Now when I wanna smoke some meat, what I can do is I can just close off this door because I don't want uh, any wind or anything blowing through here. 
So what I'll do is I'll just take some palm branches here, wedge them across the, the doorway here, and then um, just thatch that. And that way that's not gonna allow any wind or anything to go through there and uh, kick up a flame. Because ideally, we just want that those coals to smolder in there and produce a lot of smoke that's gonna stay in there and uh, get all over that meat. Now you can tell there are some uh, little holes and stuff in the very top, but um, I think it's gonna be pretty waterproof. So there's some rain being forecasted later this week. So if you wanna see that video, uh, click this link here and I'll do, I'll come in here and film and if there's any dripping or anything going on, of course I'll notice those spots and when it's done raining, I'll go back and cover up those spots with extra fronds. Otherwise, for now, I think I'm done. So I hope that gives you a good idea of how to thatch a frame. And so I really encourage you to go out, build a frame, and thatch it with some palm fronds. It's a really great material and uh, it'll make a solid structure. So until next time, find a new way to appreciate nature.